Aquarian, happy full moon, happy equinox. I'm so happy to see you. And um, for all of you that don't know, my name is Misia Denea, owner and founder of Papa Holistic Integrative Wellness. And um, tonight I'm doing a special, I always leave restorative yoga, but I have a special guest. Uh, acupuncturist who's going to offer a uh, free uh, acupuncture during Shavasana. And uh, without further ado, please introduce yourself and who you are and where people can find you on the interwebs and Absolutely. So Hi everyone. I am Kirsten Cowan. I'm an acupuncturist and a herbalist. Um, and um, I have a company where I make uh, herbal and plant-based skincare and healthcare topical products called Angelica Pini. And then I'm in practice as an acupuncturist and herbalist at Energy Matters Acupuncture, uh, which is on Piedmont Avenue here in Oakland. Beautiful. Okay, so a lot of uh, people might be scared of needles, so I want to get that out of the way. <laughs> what What is an acupuncture needle? And, you know, let's just start there. Yeah, absolutely. So if you've never had acupuncture before, does it hurt is the number one question that people, um, you know, want to know about. And, you know, we use the word needle, which is the same word that you use for, you know, a needle when you get shots, but they are not at all the same thing. Our acupuncture needles are sterile, um, tiny little, like, cat whisker, literally, like, the, the thickness of a cat whisker or a human hair. Um, and um, we, uh, we use them, we, we open them in a sterile package, we use them once, and then we dispose of them. Um, and uh, there can definitely be sensation when you receive acupuncture. Sometimes the sensation can be intense, um, but generally it shouldn't be a painful experience. Um, and uh, my own personal style is of a very gentle um, style of needling, um, and I consider myself, you know, really great for people who might be new to acupuncture or who are sensitive or nervous about the experience. Um, and uh, folks keep coming back even after that first time, so <laughs> it kind of ease you into it. Okay, so I mentioned the spring equinox, and you know, we're only going to be live for a few minutes, but like in a nutshell, with traditional Chinese medicine, what are some of the things we should prep our mind, body, and spirit for now that we're getting out of like dark, cold, rain, if you're in the Bay Area, rainy winter into, you know, now we're opening more into sunny, longer days, more energy, mm -hmm. like what, what does that mean?
calendar day. So my favorite uh, recommendation to start doing in the spring is adding a little bit of lemon juice to your water in the morning. Um, you can use apple cider vinegar as well, but we've got local lemons here, blessed us in California. Um, so that's what I've been doing. That's what I recommend to my patients and friends um, for the next couple of weeks is make sure you have a, some of that um, room temperature lemon water first thing in the morning and it will open you up to accessing all that beautiful spring energy. Great. Okay, so just a couple more minutes here. Um, now that we're pivoting into springtime, how would, I, I mean, you named like fruits and plants, but how does acupuncture itself or getting a treatment with you right now, how does that benefit you during this time of the year? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, acupuncture is part of the whole system of Chinese medicine. It's one of our, you know, one of our most important modalities, ways of accessing health and, and healing. Um, so you can use it if you have some straightforward as you are feeling stiff or having pain, your arthritis, things like that have flared up during the winter. Yes. Acupuncture is fantastic okay. for pain management, pain relief, injury uh, management, speeding, healing, all of those kinds of things. Um, and then in terms of the energetics, it's also really powerful at regulating the energy. In an in a absolute nutshell, that's what we're doing with acupuncture. We're encouraging energy to flow in a free way through that's the simplest way to understand it. So especially at the end of winter, long, cold, dark days, you know, maybe heavier food that we might normally eat, maybe less activity, less seeing friends, a lot of us are feeling kind of stuck and pent up. We can have physical symptoms like constipation or low energy. We can have emotional symptoms like getting easily frustrated. Yep. Right? <laughs> <laughs> sleeping or sleeping too much. Acupuncture can help with all of those things. Um, it's something that's, I mean, obviously I'm a fan, <laughs> but um, it is, uh, you know, wonderful practice that people can do, even if you don't think, oh, there's something really wrong with me. Um, maybe I could just feel a little better or have more energy, and acupuncture can absolutely be something that you use in there along with your other um, healing practices like yoga, qigong, or um, exercise, meditation. Um, it's absolutely one of those health maintenance practices I think we should all do. Okay, so to wrap up, um, I did have, and when I did the autumn series, I had a pregnant woman here, so can um, people through all phases of life, you know, menopause, people who are still bleeding monthly, people who are pregnant, uh, you know, people that, you know, are, um, you know, who, who have never really done it, like, are, well, let me, before you answer that, we are going to collaborate <laughs> tonight because we're at the Working Body right now, we're going to host, uh, um, um, I do restorative therapy Tuesday uh, uh, at 5.30, but there's going to be acupuncture and shavasana, and then um, I'm leading a, a series uh, which will combine uh, hatha, yoga, chiropractic with Dr. Khalid Chaney, who's a um, resident chiropractor here, and Kirsten will come back and do a look. We're talking like tip of the iceberg here, but she's going to do a whole one hour module on health and then go a little bit deeper into acupuncture um, during the springtime. So um, it, is it useful for everybody at different seasons of their life? Is it, you know? Yeah, absolutely. You know, acupuncture, when you go to see an acupuncturist for the first time, um, it's usually quite a long appointment. You know, at Energy Matters, we're going to see you for an hour and a half to two hours for that first visit, and only part of that will be your treatment. A lot of it will be talking about your health concerns, um, your health history, anything, you know, anything uh, different that's going on with you, such as pregnancy, new health concerns, injuries. So we take all of that into account when we do your treatment, when we design your treatment, um, so that it is safe and effective for you. And then where can people find, you have two websites, you have the Energy Matters and then you have your um, appointments. So exactly. Name those for everybody. Yeah, so you can find me online um, through for Angelica and Peony at angelicaandpeony.com and you can find out more about my work as an acupuncturist and a herbalist practitioner at energymatterseastbay.com. Okay, and then to find out more about the event that we have coming up, go to my Facebook page, www.facebook.com slash Hatha Holistic and look under events and that's where we have um, the dates of, it's going to be Mondays early in the morning, 6 to 7 a.m. Don't get your pennies in a bunch. That's a perfect time to, to actually meditate and do yoga. A lot of shamans, a lot of people with a deep spiritual practice.
a deep, you know, wellness practice, it's good to start your day off like that. It sets the tone for your whole day. It's only six weeks, and um, I'll share more information online. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to today so and much. next month and all that. And if you guys have any questions, just send me a message on DM, or you can email me at hoftholistic at gmail.com. I don't think I said my website.